Say hi to Auntie Kyla. <laughs> Everybody, it's Ted the Buffalo Beauty Boy and I am so excited for this video um, <laughs> for a couple different reasons. So I have a ring light because she's an influencer. <laughs> um, I have a new like filming setup, um, a filming like rig because um, my other one was pretty bootleggy. Um, so yeah, I'm, give me a couple videos to figure this out and please, you know, be patient if anybody, you know, if it's not working, whatever. Um, I'm probably going to play with like lighting and stuff like that a little bit, but this I figured is a good kind of medium. Um, also, if you caught the beginning with Sophia, um, this is a collab and it's no surprise that here in the Buffalo Beauty Land, um, we love a collab. And this is a collab with the beautiful, wonderful Kyla Fish. Um, if you saw my last video, I mentioned Kyla's panning videos. And I've collabed with Kyla. A lot of you were probably sent here from Kyla. So um, I don't think she needs too much of an introduction. But she is my BB sister. <laughs> um, where she lives and where I live are, we're in two different countries, but they're very close to each other, which is hysterical to me. So Kyla has kind of become my like baby sister in the like Instagram, YouTube world. Um, and she's just so sweet. She, I can't speak highly enough of her. She's wonderful and talented and gorgeous and genuine. And I just... I could film a whole video talking about how much I love Kyla, but instead I'm going to talk about my absolute hands down favorite products. So we are doing a full face of products that are my ride or die, my favorite, favorite products. Um, and it was kind of hard for me to narrow down exactly what I wanted this to look like. So I came up with the idea um, and I, you know, immediately thought of Kyla and thought that she would be amazing for this, especially because she and I have very similar tastes in what we like. Um, so I tried to pick products that I feel like are um, with a decent shade range or products that can work for everybody because of the products that if I like... I feel like it's weird karma to say like if I lost everything in a fire, I don't know. But if my entire beauty kit was taken on a job or it got it got lost on a transatlantic flight because I'm flying to London to do Florence Welch's makeup for a performance because that's my dream. <laughs> um, if I lost every beauty item that I possibly had in that wonderful circumstance, I would run straight to Sephora and this is what I would pick up. I would scour, you know, shops until I could cultivate this product bag. So before I get going, um, I do want to say like, I just got my hair done. Shout out to Ellen. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's like a couple changes in the Buffalo Beauty sphere. Um, and yeah, so first and foremost, we can't do it without coffee. Um, Kyla's a Duncan girl or Kyla's a Tim's girl and I'm a Duncan queen. So yeah. Um, iced coffee with almond milk and butter pecan. We love her. Um, so my face, I have my skincare on. But the first product that is my most favorite in the whole wide world is, and I have not talked about this because when I place my order, it, it's a whole big deal, <laughs> um, but it is the Auric Glow Lust. And this is the shade Selenite. And I love this as a primer. I love it because you can mix it in. You can do almost everything with it. Um, so I'm actually going to prime with this. I'm going to take two pumps. But when I ordered this, um, my order came in the mail 
and my eyeshadow was fine, but my glow lust was shattered. And then I placed, I notified them and they were very, the team themselves was great. This, my entire issue was with like USPS, which I am not here to knock postal workers. They had enough of that last year. Uh, we support the US Postal Service in this house. Um, but my replacement got lost. So it took me a really long time to actually get my product. But now that I have it, I'm a huge fan. I've had it for a little while and I'm working through a couple other products, but again, this is my most favorite. So just adds a really beautiful, soft glow. Making my foundation was super, super hard because I have ones that I wear every day because they're easy. I have ones that I like love for a million and 12 reasons, but the one that I decided to decide was my most favorite currently <laughs> um, is my Dior Face and Body Skin, uh, my, sorry, my Dior Backstage um, Face and Body Foundation. This I picked because it's buildable, their shade range is impeccable. Um, you can use this with your fingers, use it with a sponge, use it with a brush. Um, you can really build it up and use it as concealer. So it just kind of seemed like a really good place to jump off at. So I'm going to give this a good shake. And I'm going to pop a few drops on the back of my hand. So we'll start with like four. And I'm actually using an Ego Tool sponge to apply this, not the bio one, which I do love. I actually need uh, quite a bit more than four drops, but I really gravitate towards light coverage because I really take pride in my skin. Um, you know, my skin routine is pretty, pretty on, so. I like a uh, light coverage and I like that this is calling it matte doesn't do it justice because it's not matte, but it's certainly not like dewy. And I like that. Um, I find, you know, I gravitate towards really dewy products in my everyday, but when I'm, you know, going out or really building some glam, um, a demi matte kind of satin finish is actually better because you get a little bit more wear out of it. And I actually reviewed this foundation on my channel um, a really long time ago, it seems. But again, you can just see how easy and radiant that is. Um, I have trouble building like coverage right specifically here. Um, and it just kind of blurs everything. This is actually a wonderful, like, just easy base. Like, I don't feel like I need a whole lot more than this right now, but we're doing faves, so we're gonna really go there. I'm going to prime my eyelids. And to call it my, like, most favorite in the world is probably inaccurate, but it's really the only eye primer that I've tried and, like, really felt like it did anything. And when I found it, I stuck with it. So this is my Smashbox 24 hour. Um, I say all the time, my heavy hooded, uh, oily eyelid gang, this is for us. They said, BBs, we got you. So I just take a little bit of that and I pop it all over. What's going on here? I wanted my hair and it's not my normal kind of vibe, but while my eyelid primer is kind of setting, I've been finding if I put my primer down before I do my base, um, like my cheek work, I just get a better result with my eyes. So I'm going to go in and do a little bit of bronzing. And my favorite bronzer is the Marc Jacobs Omega um, Tantastic Bronzer. Word on the street is that Marc Jacobs Cosmetics is closing down. Um... I think this is really like discounted. So uh, if you have been thinking about it, then maybe pick it up. Um, I'll have this until the day that I die. It's huge. <laughs> and the color is just really, really good. My skin sways like, in my opinion, like light, like light to medium. Um, and it really works if I'm tan, it works if I'm not. 
and I'm just applying a really, really generous but soft, you know, layer. So that's a really soft application. This is what I would do for like daytime. And I feel like it just gives me a nice glow, nothing crazy. The color is so good. It's like truly neutral. Um, it's not warm. It's not cool. It lives right in the middle. So I want to talk about a product that I love. Um, it is the Phytosurgeon's Spectral Shine Highlight. And this is the most natural but also ethereal highlight in the world. So you can use your fingers or you can use a brush because I'm gonna be extra and I couldn't pick just one highlighter. I'm gonna use a brush because I can get a really soft application. And I'm just taking my um, Sephora Perk Brush. It's the Pro Mini 55.5. And what I do is I just really gently, gently, gently swirl my brush in and I will do this for like 10 seconds. You really want to swirl that brush in and get acquainted with the product. Um, so when I've got a pretty good little layer, I'll start kind of buffing that in. This is one of the most special highlight formulas because it looks so incredibly natural. And in real life, it's like undetectable. You just look so like healthy. <laughs> and honestly, this is great for if you like a no makeup makeup, or I would even think like a beginner, somebody who's like really not super comfortable wearing a ton of makeup. Um, it's not blinding at all. Just really healthy and it's almost like undetectable on the skin. Um, I think just to do it justice, I'm going to do a finger swatch as well. So again, just barely pressing. I swirl. And it just, it looks like <laughs> spectral shine is like if you were... You're like on vacation after working really hard and you're like drinking coconut water, eating well, fresh fruits. Zac Efron's your boyfriend. I don't know. Always got to go for the chin. Look at that. This is such a stunning look already. This is what I would leave the house with. Mm, probably not because there's no blush, but <laughs> we'll get there. Trust me. So that was the Phytosurgeon Spectral Shine. I have the shade uh, Mirrored Moonlight. <laughs> what do we want to do next? I would probably do my shadow next. Well, I... <sighs> shadow was really, really hard because... You know, there's so many, and I honestly, on like a day-to-day, -day, usually wear like a single shadow all over, but I figured if I like lost everything on a transatlantic flight as I'm going to um, London to do Florence Welch's hair and makeup, um, wait, yeah, is it transatlantic? I'm not sure. Whatever. If I lost it on an international flight, um... <laughs> I would probably buy a palette, and the palette that I would most likely buy is A, a Pat McGrath palette, and this is the Bronze Seduction, I think. It's the one with red. <laughs> um, this is very pricey, but definitely get it at a Sephora sale. Don't, you know, we don't full price for them. Um, this palette is just wonderful. It's got tons, not tons, but it's got a good amount of neutrals. It's got a wonderful little purple. Um, and the special shades are just incredible. I love a red moment. So that's why I would personally go with this one. Um, what I'm going to do is just swirl in between this dark 
and this like creamy shimmery kind of white it's not white it's like champagne but and the only reason I chose that dark one is because I feel like I always go for that um lighter one but I figure we'll try something different and mixing mattes and shimmers is like kind of fun to me I don't know so I'm just really like heavy lining not heavy lining heavy dusting that crease to really define it but keeping it really close I don't want to bring it too too high because left to my own devices I'll have glitter to my eyebrows so now that I've got that all blended in what I'm going to do is take a flat brush and I'm going to go into this ready sheer one and I'm going to bring that all over the lid yeah that's real that's real good <laughs> um and then what I'm also going to do is just take my pinky and I'm going to dip into this um you know what let's do this one we'll do the really iridescent white and I'm going to put that right on that inner corner because that's a look that I love but I just don't really do a lot that is magical like this eye looks great and this eye I look like an anime character which is always the goal. If you didn't know, now you do. I'm gonna just take that same brush that I used for the crease and just buff and blur. I'm gonna clean up under my eyes and then we're gonna get into some concealer. A little tip when you're cleaning up under your eyes, instead of wiping outward as if you would like you know, to wipe off, you know, anything, especially with a shimmer, what I like to do is kind of make a little triangle and push it up and in. So that way you're not spreading glitter underneath your eye. What can I say? Buffalo Beauty Boy has got all the tips for you. Um... And I find, too, like a, a big mistake that I've made is I will clean up under my eyes and then I'll go in right away with like a base product to, you know, redo it. So we're going to just let that chill. We're going to get some brows going. And it wouldn't be a all-time favorites video without throwing in some um, Glossier Boy Brow. I wear the shade Brown, Brunette. Yeah, Brown. And this is a fresh one. And everybody knows... They get better with age. So I should have opened this like a month ago and just like every couple days, just like pump some air into it to really get it ready for this. But I didn't. Boy Brow was the first product that really like made me do my brows. Does that make sense? Um, so I love, I'm constantly looking for a Boy Brow dupe. One that isn't, it doesn't have to be cheaper than Boy Brow, because Boy Brow is pretty affordable, but I just want something bigger. I want something that lasts longer, you know? I mean, y'all saw me trying to plug Big Boy Brow with me as the model. I don't think Emily Weiss saw that video. It's okay. She's a busy gal. So yeah, just a little bit of Boy Brow, and I'm fully happy with that. I kind of have to like push this brow down and like fluff this one up so that they look even, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer and this is the Rare Beauty Concealer. Um, concealer is not something that I'm super like faffed about, but I pretend to be. I don't know. <laughs> And I'm doing the little 
the trick that all the girlies are doing. I don't know if it looks lifted, but I'm 26. We're, we're trying to lift all we can. That's my favorite concealer, y'all. Um, I'm kind of bouncing back and forth, but I think we're going to finish the eyes. One thing that I love that's been, you know, getting a lot of love for me that I don't think I've talked about yet is the House Laboratories Eyeliner. This is the... I Defy Gel Pencil Liner in the shade Aura, and it is a true white. I have been looking to do that, like, Ariana Grande, rain on me, you know, and I figured they said that they used this for that look. I tried it a couple times. Eyeliner is not my strong suit, so I'm actually not going to, like, zoom up and, like, do my liner, but I've been loving white eyeliner. This has just been a ton of fun for me, so I'm going to put some of this on, and then we'll get back to chatting. So I tried my best to make them even. Remember with eyeliner and eyebrows and most things that come in a pair, they are sisters, not twins. <laughs> but um, the House Labs Aura eyeliner has been a ton of fun. Uh, mascara. Hmm. Yes, mascara. My favorite mascara in the whole world is the Lancome Monsieur Big in the shade brown. I don't have that one. I only have the mini of the waterproof, so I'm going to put some of that on. But the shade brown is chef's kiss impeccable. And you know, I've mentioned it a couple times, but I really like to only put it on the like outer two thirds. I also feel like this is how you know I really love y'all. I'm putting on waterproof eyeliner, waterproof mascara just for just for shits and gigs. No, it's for this video, but I'm not going out. I'm not doing anything. It's just, just for fun. Yeah, real good. Um, So to really, I guess, like spice it up, one thing that I love to do is take a like fun pop shade and I like to put it on my under eye line. My under, my line, my underline. So I'm gonna take this red with this teeny little liner brush and I'm gonna put that right underneath my eye. And it really just makes such a difference. Come on, that's so good. <laughs> so yes, Pat McGrath, Mother Pat. It's time for some blush. And the blush that I chose to share, um, this isn't a new one. It's not anything that I haven't talked about, but it's, it's the Lancome Blush Subtil in the shade um, Mocha Havana Shimmer. And this is one of those that could be a bronzer, could be a blush. It's really shimmery, but not glittery. It just makes the skin look so good. And it's this wonderful, kind of cool toned, like, it's like a cool toned terracotta, if that makes sense. But I don't really see a ton of people talk about this blush. I feel like that's why I like it so much. It's very unique to, not only is it a unique shade, but I think it's a pretty unique color to my collection. Like, I don't see people talking about this. Um, HLP, Hannah Louise Poston, has talked about it um, a little. It just really, like, finishes out a cheek in a way that I love. Little on the nose. I can't not like swirl my blush brush into my temple, I don't know. So to really like pop off, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in the shade, I don't think it says, Spotlight, sorry. Um, it's the champagne -y one, so you can twist it to turn it on, to open it, I guess. And because I laid down that um, phytosurgence, this is just really going to make everything super duper bright. See how happy and healthy that looks. 
which is the goal. <laughs> um, so last but not least, we're going to talk about some lips. Um, with this look specifically, I feel like I need to do a nude lip. However, I couldn't not mention the um, Lip Glow by Dior in the shade 011. This is lip gloss in a tube, y'all. It's a shimmery pink. You know what? This might work. We'll, we'll try it. And if it doesn't, okay, you know what we're going to do here. <laughs> I also have to talk about the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheats. These are just a wonderful lip liner, but specifically Iconic Nude is great. So I'm going to put some of this on. We'll put that lip balm on and see what it does. I love this shade because it's a nude, but it doesn't go like concealer-y on me, which I find some nudes will. So this is the Dior 011. And like I said, it's lip gloss in a tube. It really like morphs with everything that I use it with. Um, it just is such a wonderful, easy color to wear and color to use. So the Dior 011 um, Color Reviving Balm is a favorite. I This is the first one that I've gone through, but it's getting low. Like, it's getting really low. And for a bullet product, that's huge. That really doesn't happen. Um, So I'm actually going to take this lip off, and then I'm going to share my, like, last favorite product with you because it's it's a fun one and I think um nobody's gonna be surprised when I mention it I gotta go I gotta finish my video so now that I've got I took that balm off and you saw how easily it melded into the lips and into the look but um the one that I have to mention is Finding Ferdinand their custom lipsticks if you are somebody that's picky with lip colors or has a difficult lip shade to work with or just can't find the lipstick of your dreams, Finding Ferdinand is incredible. Um, I've made two custom shades. This is the second one that I've made. The first one was a like pinky, peachy, bright nude, if that makes sense. And then this one is a true like, con not concealer-y nude, but a true like nude it makes me my boyfriend said that it makes me look like my lips are normal um but i called my shade parisian secrets and it's so cool so i'm gonna put this on and you'll really see it come to life with you know my lip color and this look i think it'll be great yeah it makes my lips look big. Like, I kind of think I have a, like, not awkward, but I have a pretty specific, like, lip shape. And this really just accentuates it in the best way. So again, this was a custom formula, but I included a lot of yellow in there to counterbalance the purple that happens naturally in my lips. And then just wanted it to be very easy to wear. And this is their matte formula, so. Mm, no, it's not matte, sorry. It's their satin formula, but their formulas are incredible. Their matte formula is probably the best matte that I've ever worn. So Finding Ferdinand custom lipstick, highly recommend. But if you're not feeling a custom lipstick, absolutely check out the Dior uh, Color Reviver Balm in the shade 011. And... Because I have this awesome lighting setup, I don't have to like move the camera and show you what my face actually looks like. So I'll probably just come in a little closer and you can really see everything kind of come to life. Again, this is just very easy, radiant, healthy looking, and the eyes are kind of fun. Um, and that's really what I go for when I want to feel my best, look my best, do the most. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for coming to hang out. These are all of my favorite products. Make sure to head over to Kyla's channel and take a peek at her video. And if you were sent here from Kyla, thank you so much for coming to hang out. I appreciate it. Thanks for 
joining the beauty babe gang. Um, yeah. So what products are your ride or die holy grail favorite products in the whole wide world? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure to give Kyla some love. Check us both out on Instagram as well. I'll have everything linked in the description box. And I hope you remember that with everything going on in the world, with <laughs> the stress of existing, the weight of living, um, that you are made of gold. So thank you so much. Until next time.